Hello, welcome to Urban Singh Academy. We are going to discuss uh, today about uh, the IITJE 2017 Paper 2, Part Mathematics, and uh, we are going part to discuss Part 3 today. And uh, in this uh, part, now till we have discussed uh, Part 1 and Part 2, and I hope you have already understand this uh, Part 1 and Part 2 solutions. Now this is uh, Part 3. So, without wasting time, let me discuss this. In part 3, the question uh, has been asked for 12 marks, right? So, that is for marks 12. And here, for only one correct, four questions, two paragraphs, and each for each correct response, there will be three marks. So, this is the brief uh, uh, knowledge about this paragraph and this section. So, here the First paragraph is given, let O be the origin, OX, OY, OZ be three unit vectors in the direction of the sides QR, RB, PQ respectively of triangle PQR. Now OX and OY is equal to this, options is given, here triangle PQR varies like this, uh, then the minimum value of this is. So what will happen, how to solve this question? This paragraph can be solved by using this concept that OX, OY, QR, PR and PQ. If there is a triangle, say if there is a triangle, if there is a triangle and this triangle is like uh, if this is a triangle and triangle is given here like uh, say OX, OY, OZ a side PQR. So this is Q, R, and this is P. Now, as it is given that OX is along this vector is along this. So this is a unit vector OX along this. It is given here. Try to understand. OX is along this and QR and OY along RP and PQ. RP OY along RP. OY and PQ. So OX, OY and OZ. So OY is along this vector and OZ is along PQ. So these are the three uh, vectors, unit vectors given along this. Now if I write here then what will happen? Mm, this question is asked like OX cross OY is equal to OX and OY are unit vector. So OX cross OY is what? Now write this. OX vector cross OY vector. Age given that. Using cross product, you know OX modulus of OX, modulus of OY, right? And sine theta, theta. What is theta? And between OX and OY, what is the angle? Angle between them is, if this angle is R, then this angle will be called Pi minus R. Angle Pi minus R. So that will be Pi minus R into unit vector L. Now, because OX and OY are unit vector, so their modulus must be equal to 1, 1. And sine Pi minus R is also sin R and unit vector L. Now, modulus of OX cross OY vector, modulus of this, so in that case, what will remain? Sin R and unit vector of N modulus is, because this is a scalar, taking modulus will not change, it will not change at all. So, keeping in this mind, I have written here, and N is unit vector normal to the plane of made by OX and OY, so their modulus will be also 1. But out of the given option, here it is given that R is not given here, 2 R is given and the rest of them is given as P, Q and all. So here R can be written as P plus Q and therefore this will be the answer. Why? D will be answer of this question because R can be written as angle R is equal to P plus Q because P plus Q plus R is equal to this. So R is equal to or even pi minus r is p plus q. So I can write here pi minus r is p plus q only. Or even in place of r, you can write 
P plus Q. So here this will be P plus Q and modulus of this is P plus Q modulus of unit vector 1 is 1 and therefore answer is P plus Q. Okay, that will be the answer of this question. Now the second question of this segment is triangle PQR varies then the minimum value of cos P plus Q cos Q plus R cos R plus P is what? So here we know for second question and that is question number 52 this is the solution of 51 solution of 51 and uh, this now solution of 52 we know P plus Q plus R is equal to pi so one can write P plus Q is equal to pi minus R and if I apply cos P plus Q both the sides then what will happen cos of P plus Q in that case this will be cos of pi minus R so what is that that will be minus cos R similarly cos Q plus R is equal to what minus cos P and cos P plus R is equal to cos P plus R is equal to minus cos Q so here the given expression is we want the minimum value of cos P plus Q the given expression is cos P plus Q see that this is a cos P plus Q Q plus R R plus P cos P plus Q cos Q plus R and cos R plus E P can be written as this is equal to minus cos P plus Q is minus cos R minus cos Q plus R is minus cos P and R plus P is minus cos Q. So if I would take this common then there will be cos P plus cos Q plus cos R and some of these three will be maximum we know that cos P plus cos Q plus cos R is maximum is maximum we know that when P is equal to Q is equal to R that is pi by 3 in equilateral triangle and therefore cos P cos Q and cos R is equal to cos pi by 3 that is 1 by 2 cos 60 is 1 by 2 so the max value of this will be and uh, maximum value of this will be 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is 3 by 2 but maximum value of that will be the minimum value of negative because if the sum of this is maximum then negative of that function will be minimum so minimum value of this function will be what minus root minus 3 by 2 and therefore in that case we can say b will be the correct answer i hope you got it okay now the next question next paragraph is here they are given here that uh, let p q be integers and let alpha beta the roots of equation this then for n is equal to 1 to 3 up to a n what will be the roots of p plus q and p plus 2 q here hint is given there is a hint given and this hint is first time uh, I think uh, this is given as a hint and clue by which a student can solve this question easily uh, here alpha beta are the roots of the equation so alpha beta definitely will satisfy and these are two different roots so we can write here solution of 53 since alpha is a root of root of x square minus x minus 1 is equal to 0 and therefore alpha must satisfy must satisfy the equation and it means alpha square minus alpha minus 1 is equal to 0 that is alpha square is equal to alpha plus 1 uh, keeping this in mind we can analyze that since this is alpha square this is alpha and it, it is 1 
if I multiply by alpha both the sides, then what will happen? It will be if we multiply by alpha, this will be alpha q plus alpha square plus alpha. If we multiply by alpha again, it will be alpha q plus alpha square. Means if this is power is 4, then there is a 3 and there is a 2. Every time this is going to increase. It means a to the power n must be equal to a to the power n minus 1 plus a to the power n minus 2. This is what will happen. And now it is given here that uh, question is, let us see this question. And question is given here that a4 is 28. So root of this equation will be, what will be the alpha? Let me calculate the value of alpha. Since x square minus x minus 1 is equal to 0, keeping uh, this uh, quadratic formula, we can write x is equal to minus b plus minus minus of minus 1 plus minus root under b square, that is minus 1 whole square minus 4 into a into c and that will be divided by 2a, so 2 into 1. That will come 1 plus minus root 5 by 2. Because this is a irrational number. What is that? Irrational number. So A4 will come out. What will be A4? A4 will be since an is equal to given here, an is equal to P A to the power P A P alpha to the power n plus B Q beta to the power n. That is given here. Q beta to the power n given. Q beta to the power n. That is given here p alpha to the power n q beta to the power n. This is a n is equal to given a n. I can write here this is just the symbol is like that. So let me write like this only a n will be a n a n minus 1 that a n minus 2 can be written as. So this will be a n not like this so although symbol this is just a symbol we can write anywhere a4 so a n is equal to p alpha to the power n plus q beta to the power n so if i write a4 then what will happen a4 will come out like p alpha to the power 4 because there is n p alpha to the power 4 plus q beta to the power 4, right? Can I write like this? And p alpha to the power 4 and q beta to the power 4. Sum of root h, what sum of root h? Sum of root h, here you can see this. So p alpha to the power 4 plus q beta to the power 4. Alpha to the power 4 is what? alpha to the power 4 h we can write here we, using this since alpha is equal to let me write here since alpha square is equal to alpha plus 1 so squaring both the sides alpha square is equal to alpha to the power 4 is equal to what will happen can I write this uh, alpha square plus 2 alpha plus 1. But again alpha square is equal to alpha plus 1. So that will be 2 alpha plus 1. So 2 alpha plus alpha is 3 alpha plus 2. So alpha to the power 4 is 3 alpha plus 2. Similarly beta to the power 4 can be written as 3 beta plus 2. And now since sum of roots, sum of roots is alpha plus beta that is minus b by a. So what will be that? 1. So beta can be written as 1 minus alpha as well. Now putting all this value alpha to the power 4 that is p into 3 alpha plus 2 and q is equal to 3 beta plus 2 and beta even can be replaced by here 3 1 minus alpha plus 2. So that will be 3 minus 3 alpha plus 2 and that will be preferably 5 minus 3 alpha. So beta can be written as 5, beta to the power 4 can be written as 5 minus 3 alpha. So that will come like here. 
p 3p minus q because 3p minus q here it will come from 3 into p alpha and from this place it will come 3 into 3 into p alpha and from here it will come 3 into p beta so try to understand this this is a 3p and here this is 3q so 3 if i would take common this will be p minus q into alpha plus 2p plus 5q 2p plus 5q and this is a4 is 28 given since alpha is an irrational number factor so that will be 3p minus q and alpha is 1 plus minus root 5 by 2 that is irrational and here 2p plus 5q comparing this what the hint is given that can be used now they have given here hint what is hint given hint is given that if a plus b root 5 is 0 then comparing this both here rational part is also 0 and irrational coefficient because there is no irrational coefficient so irrational part is also 0 so comparing rational and irrational factors terms both the sides we will be able to know that that because there is no irrational term this side so coefficient of irrational term must be equal to 0 and therefore we can write here p minus q must be equal to 0 and p is equal to q and also 2p plus 5q must be equal to 28 but using this p is equal to q we can write 2p plus 5p is equal to 28 that is 7p is equal to 28 and therefore p is equal to 4 p is equal to 4 and p is equal to q so q is also equal to 4 now the value of what the value they are asking they are asking the value of p plus 2q p plus 2q what they are asking is p plus 2q so p plus 2q is p is 4 and q is also 4 so 4 to 8 4 plus 8 is 12 so answer would be 12 p plus 2q is equal to 12 p plus 2q is equal to 12 now p plus 2q is equal to 12 p plus 2q is equal to 4 plus 8 that is 12 so this is the first part now last question that I am going to discuss here that is 54 what they are asking is in this question they have asked about if a 12 is equal to what so we have learned here that a n is equal to a n minus 1 a n minus 2 this is the condition what we have already derived right now this is the condition what we have already derived that a n is equal to a n minus 1 putting the n is equal to 12 here what will come if i put 12 this will be 11 this will be 10 so a 11 a 10 and therefore c will be answer nothing to say about this and uh, we can say that in this question answer will be c so both the question has answer c since a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 and therefore a 12 must be equal to a 11 plus a 10 and therefore answer is c so this is a simple uh, nothing else already what we have discussed and that will be more than enough so i hope you have enjoyed this and you understand all the solution this is a complete solution of paper 2 as well so thank you very much keep watching god bless and uh, if do you have any problem or any difficulty during the solution of any question do write to us at our email id um, arvind singh academy at the rate of uh, gmail.com or uh, if you want to contact us you must contact on our telephone numbers on our institute uh, so that we can explain each and everything and if there is any convenient we can write so our mail id is ww sorry um, arvind singh academy academy at the rate of gmail.com gmail.com and do visit our website as well that is www.arvindsingh.com thank you thank you very much god bless